What's up everyone on the internet? Thank you for making this video part today. I am so excited because we're finally in the month of October, which means it's spooky season time. And I figured, you know what? Let's talk about the most wildest cartoon I have ever watched, Has Been Hotel. Oh God, oh boy. How do I say this without scaring a few people? Okay, you know what? I'm gonna say it right at the front gate. This cartoon takes place in hell, and we follow Charlie Morningstar, who is the princess of hell, who wants to see some of her fellow sinners get redeemed and go to heaven. Now, the reason I'm a little bit cautious and nervous right now is that I have some very religious relatives who would be horrified if they knew that I had fun with this cartoon. Oh well, cat's out of the bag. Anyway, this series has had quite a journey because originally aired on YouTube back in 2019 before going on big hiatus until Amazon A24 picked it up and then the first season came out earlier this year. Now, one of the things I liked about the show is that right at the front gate, the story establishes that once a year, angels will come down from heaven to wipe out thousands of demons in hell. Well, after surviving the last extermination, Charlie tries to prove to heaven that her hotel can work and try to get these sinners redeemed so they can go to heaven. Well, that's easier said than done given how basically everyone in hell is a complete and total psychopath and the next extermination is just around the corner. So for the majority of the season we get to watch Charlie and her friends go on some wacky adventures as they try to prove to heaven that hey this hotel works while at the same time we have a time limit on our hands. One of the other things that I also like about this cartoon is that it's a musical. Now whenever I tell that to people a lot of times they're pretty turned away. I don't know why given how a lot of people watch Disney films, and for me, I grew up with a brother who liked watching Fantasy and Ferb, I also grew up with a sister who liked watching My Little Pony, so musicals were not that strange to me, but I just don't understand why people are turned away by this cartoon that is a musical. Oh, right, I completely forgot. While I enjoyed most of the songs, which by the way are so catchy, I completely forgot that not a lot of people want to watch a cartoon that takes place in hell. But you know what? Take away the setting and take away the music and you're left with a comedy series about these crazy characters in rehab who love to cause trouble. Which leads to one thing I also liked about this series is that, oh my god, the character designs are completely insane. I mean, you can tell that the art department must have had a blast making these characters. And for me personally, my favorite character was actually Vox because while everyone is sporting the red color palette, he is blue and he's dressed like a TV host and the fact that he has a flat screen TV for a face just makes him all the more cooler given how he is the TV demon. Another character that I also liked was Alistair. I mean, when I first saw him in 2019, he scared the living crap out of me. I mean, when you hear that voice, he is the literal Willy Wonka from hell. And when you look at the female characters, my favorite one was Nifty because she's like a gremlin who likes to cause all sorts of trouble. <laughs> Sometimes, I kill mother bugs in front of their children as a warning to others. <laughs> Yay, pain! Which brings me to the comedy aspect of the show, and because this is an adult cartoon, a lot of colorful words and a lot of sex jokes are sprinkled in throughout the entire season. And you know what? I did not expect to laugh so hard when I saw these Disney Channel-like characters sing, dance, and cuss at the same time Oh my god, I nearly died. However, while a lot of the jokes were very funny, the show's also able to balance its comedic moments with its more intimate moments when we see that behind every smile is a broken soul. Perfect example, episode 4, which by the way has the most wildest imagery I've ever seen on screen, but at the same time it also gives you a realistic depiction of what an abusive relationship looks like, and by the end of the episode you realize that while you may be suffering, understand this. You are not alone. And it's moments like this when you see these characters open up to their mistakes, you realize that while they may be in hell, but maybe they do have a shot at getting into heaven. And who doesn't love a story when a bad guy turns good? So overall, I had a lot of fun with this cartoon. Now would I recommend it? Hell no. Unless you don't have a problem with cartoon characters in hell who love to sing, dance, and crack jokes, then maybe this cartoon may be a bit extreme for you. But you know what? This show takes a lot of risks, and in my mind, those risks paid off. Given how I had a lot of fun with the humor, the songs were very catchy, we got some good character development, and the fact that we're getting season two gets me excited. So if you're feeling brave enough this Halloween season and wanna watch something on Amazon, 
maybe check out this cartoon and with only eight episodes it is super easy to binge through but be warned this is a wild show well that's going to do this video guys that was my overall view on has been hotel if you like what you saw hit the subscribe button so you can always up to this channel i'll see you next time with a brand new video Bye bye